Who's ready to make a character? Me. Okay. A woman's role in Eora is largely dependent on where she is from. In the Adir Empire, Valian Republics, and the Direwood, women occupy many domestic, educational, and organizational roles. They are both the primary hunters, soldiers, and leaders of the tribes in Nestak. In Eyre Glanfoth and Examitil, women and men have more fluid social roles. In all societies, there are, few, there are exceptions to the rule. Women can be found in a wide variety of stations and professions. Um, the place of men in society varies from culture to culture. Cultures like Aedir and the Direwood place them at the forefront of military, politics, and heavy labor. Among the tribes of Nestuck, men perform many of the homesteading and organizational duties. In Ayaglan, Fath, and Examatil, men and women have more fluid social- Okay, well, I'm going to be a female as I am female. What is Aumawa? Whoa. Mighty Aumawa are the largest of the Kith races and are commonly found in or near oceans. Interesting. They're not truly aquatic. Oh, well, good, I can't scroll. They have an affinity for water and many of their civilizations, such as Ruatai, are based on naval dominance. They are known for their unparalleled strength. So, this is like me going to my D&D &D building, character building. I never go strength based. I'm probably going to be an elf because, you know, love to elf. Dominant race in Aya Glenfuth, the white that wins and are commonly, extremely common in the Direwood and Adir. Elves are known for their speed and intelligence as well as a commonly isolationist nature. Orlins are the smallest of the kith races. And many cultures don't consider, consider them to be civilized at all. Godlike? This is like, whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is kind of like Tiefling. Tiefling Celestial kind of a thing. Who are blessed with physical aspects associated with the gods, though some do not consider it a blessing. But many forms often come with mystical powers. Aberrant head shapes are typical and godlike. They're unable to wear protective headgear. It's fine. This is kind of cool. Let, I just want to see if I can customize. Whoa. Whoa. The most yeah, strange growth cover there. This is honestly a little bit like... Ugh. Ugh. Moon, I want to be a moon god. Like, it speaks to me. Like, let me see if they're like wood elf or pale elf. Yeah, it is. Cause I, sorry, I, I'm gonna relate a lot of this to Dungeons and Dragons, but I like, I wanted to put, I have a character made that's a pallet elf, which is like a pale elf. Um, elemental endurance. All pale elves have increased burn and freeze damage reduction. Distant advantage. Ooh. Hang on, I wanna see. Coastal island, very interesting. Health and wild. Whoa, that's awesome. Dexterity, intellect. Okay, this might depend on my class. So let's, let's do moonlight for now. Well, let's see. Every encounter, when reduced below 75%, 50%, 25% endurance. Um, straight to their endurance and health. Okay. Generate waves of healing moonlight that restore- ooh. Okay, let's see what happens. Body type. I mean... Just go with, like, elf. Class! It's a chanter. You know I go straight for the mystical stuff. This chanter just suddenly reminded me of a like book that I read in like elementary school called The Singer of All Songs where they had kind of a magic system that was based off of enchantment. Cool. In every culture across Aeora there are chanters. Many historians consider chanters to be the most ancient workings of magic, They're hollowed phrases stirring the collective memory of wayward souls around them. I don't want to be like a healer though is the problem, so because mm, I don't think I'm going to be very good at it if it's real time. 
They use this to produce passive effects, invocations, powerful magic. Is this like, like Warlock? Laura plus two. Mechanics? Ooh. Very low, low. Deflection? Resist direct melee and rage attacks against the character. This is like, yeah, super, super low. Like, squishy. Moon god attacks are dope. Gain assault, but hang on. Um, Monk? No, I don't think I want to be a monk. Rangers can also be cool. And I'm a companion, but that could be annoying to like... Hmm, priest? It's a cypher, hang on. Oh, it's called Bashalgwin. Bish the ability to directly contact and then manipulate another person's soul and psyche using an allies or enemies. Ooh. Cyphers can directly target allies and enemies with powerful soul focused effects. Oh, very low, low, average, average. Ah, uh, and stealth, loved stealth. Trying to be true. Rogue is always fun, but I do, I want to do some magic y stuff, I think. Very high, very high, high. Hmm. A paladin. Marshall zealots, yeah. I'm wondering if these are like offset enough by like the starting abilities. So cipher or chanter. Um, very low. I'm also curious if, you know what, we're going to go Chanter. That's the one that, that spoke to me. I'm, you know, let's just not be concerned about our very low, low and average stats, okay? Next. You can continuously speak chants made up of magical phrases. Oh, so I get to choose? Okay. Blessed was Wengrit's quickest of his tribe. Increases the movement rate. Come, come soft winds of death. Drains a portion of it turns from all enemies in an area of effect. Rick grew their tongues. Reduces concentration. <laughs> dull. Dull the edge about the point. Reduces damage. I don't think I'm gonna like Chanter. Let me try. Let me see what Cypher can do. Cypher sounds more fun. Enemies caught in the path between the two will suffer corrosive damage. But also much more complicated. <laughs> Cause focus. Shocks and enemies as in blinding them. Well as blinding nearby targets. Mind wave. Becomes the object of a concussive blast of psychic energy, suffering raw damage. From the trauma. Oh my god. <clears throat> Whisper of treason sounds awesome. Charming, okay, okay. Tenuous grasp. It seems it frightening and confusing them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Briefly transfer the outer shell of an ally target sold to energy. Or knock them prone. Ten focus, ten focus. I like eye strike. Although Um Right and Confuse, Charm. R kind of a radiant burst. Mind wave for two uh knocking them. Bring raw damage. There are eight types of damage in pillars. Flash, pierce, crush, burn, shock, corrode, freeze, and raw. I'm guessing this is like force. 
Damage types are used to determine how easily target resists. Okay, I like Mind Wave. And Ice Striker against Method. This is like Acid. Um, or Tenuous. Is this is conical area behind the target? Okay. Sure, let's do these two. Ooh, I'm guessing I highly recommended for Cypher. Recommended for Cypher, recommended for Cypher. Constitution over a health and stamina. I mean, yeah, we intellect, right? Highest is gonna be 20. I like that it lets you kind of choose the points. Let's resolve. You're listening. Okay, so like charisma? No. It's like wisdom and charisma. Perception is just its own thing. Gonna have a little bit more fortitude because I'm scared. Okay, can do that. Um, um maybe we can have less. Do that for now. I don't know how I should. I don't think I need this much might. But I do have healing. So. Let's do that. I think that's okay. Match culture. Oh, yeah. The Idea Empire is currently the largest and most powerful force in this part of the world. It is centered around the greater and has a tropical climate. Mm. Dead fire archipelago. No. Yeah, the nation of Snastuck. This doesn't feel like... I feel like Old Valia is probably cool. Just now the crumbled remnants of an empire of warring merchant nations, counting many humans, dwarves, and around the rings. The Old Valian countries are still forces. Close to a number of nations, most of them... Uh, the white that wins. No. The living lands. No. Or examatol. I think Old Valia's sounds right. Also, it gives me the intellect, which I think is nice. Okay. Oh. Background. Ooh. A colonist? Out of a group that founded a fledgling colony in a distant land, aristocrat. You've lived your life amongst the nobility. No, drifter. Drifter sounds cool. Labor, no, I don't think that fits. Artist. I'm a moon touched god. Godlike? Disrespective, no. Hunter. No. Mercenary is always fun. No, let's make, um, let's be a drifter. Always love to be like the loner, you know? I think that. This is ter- uh, This is. Don't. Mm, trypophobia. Um. Can I have a different. Ooh, but I'm moon touched. Ooh. We're gonna, you know I'm gonna click through all 99 pictures. But it's probably like 87 or something. These are all the male ones now, I should have guessed. I like those. Whoa, that one's cool. So unsettling, the death ones, but it's so cool. Why are there so many more male characters than female? I like this one for the pale elf. 
Oh, okay, I guess I know which one I'm choosing. Primary. Oh, this is like my outfit colors. Got it. I thought I could choose like my um my like face and stuff, eye colors and such. White's not white enough. What are the um, primary? Do I want the primary to be lighter? Not really. Both there and then like a light blue kind of a thing. Actually, this is kind of pretty. Or I could do like a blue, you know? If I made this back to what it was, the purple. Blue? I don't like these blues. This is this, that is that. I think I like it the other way around better. This can be like under no. Or head two out of four. I wish I could like zoom in, but I guess like the character creation is not as Whoa, that is very different. <laughs> it's like, whew. What a boy. Um, it's so hard to see. Honestly, one is pretty cool. I really like the, the, the moon that's like glowing or floating just a little much. She kind of looks like she's balding. I wish there was one with like longer hair. I think I like to, I think I like the ha kind of halo-y thing. I wish I could choose my hair though. Is it because I'm a moon touched? What if I change? Just curious. I love. I could change it if I was something that's not a. I think I like it too. Ooh, I kind of like this one, but uh, not the mohawk. This could be pretty too, but I want to be... What are they? Dexterity and perception. I gotta, I gotta be... I'm gonna stick with what I... I guess I just made character creation easier for myself. So. Oh. Hmm. Follow me. Let's go. Steady does it. Yeah? Yeah? Now I am leader of the group. Now I am leader of the group. Let's go. I didn't. It, we did it reset, we reset. Fine. Um to whispers and shadows. Just say the word. I'll lead the way. No. Oh. Yeah! Quietly now. That was very different. I'm here. I shall lead us. <laughs> Silence surrounds me. Hmm. Hmm? Leading the way. No. Charge! Keeping an eye out. Hey there. Watch and learn. Huh? 
Does Stoic not speak because... Did I break it? It's not playing them for me anymore. Hmm? I've got this. Keeping quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do stoic. Oh, my name. Moon touch. Moon godlike. The pallid elf, which is kind of like a moon, but it was like pale elf, but also like touched by the moon weary. Her name is Silasria. But I kind of want to. Hmm. Which is. She's not like a huntress. <laughs> oh god. Um, no, uh, let's do, I'm just going to use one of the names that I use for an Azamar cleric that I made, Scythalia, which is Scythe for short, which I found appropriate. Done. That didn't take as long as I thought. 